Hi and welcome to Level Up Cartooning. Today we're going to start a series of lessons to give you some basic understanding of cartoon body proportions. My goal here is to give you the ability to look at a character, any character, and quickly and easily break it down into its simplest form so that you can draw them easier and better than you ever thought possible. It doesn't matter what character, what style, what gender, what age, this process will help you with any of them. I'll be picking from various styles, ages, and genres just to bring home that point. Because these lessons will focus on the body proportions, for the most part, they'll be basic standing poses. I want to encourage you to master these characters' basic proportions through this pose and then use what you've learned to draw them in other more challenging challenging poses because that's what it's all about. Today we'll start with an adult male figure and for that we're going to draw the one and only LeBron James, the 2D animated cartoon version from the upcoming Space Jam 2. Alright, so let's draw LeBron. We're going to draw King James step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. And not just in this pose, but others. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. Cartoon LeBron is just under six heads tall. In other words, however tall LeBron's head is, his entire body is just under six of those. We can also use that noggin to figure out how wide LeBron is as well. He is three heads wide. In other words, however wide his head is, his entire body is three of those. I just want to remind you, we're talking about cartoon LeBron. In real life, LeBron is probably more like eight to eight and a half heads tall. This shows you how the cartoon form exaggerates and distorts the body, which is why I love to draw cartoons. Anyways, so let's start with that roadmap for LeBron James from Space Jam. So there's our roadmap for LeBron. Before we go on to step two, I want to give you some things to remember about human proportions, which don't always work out in cartoon bodies because of all the exaggeration, but for the most part, they work out fine with LeBron here. The upper arm and the forearm are roughly the same length. Same with the upper leg and the lower leg. Okay, so now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put LeBron's eyes, mouth, nose, and some of the other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. So let's rough out LeBron's features.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for LeBron James. Now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for the final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw the final details of LeBron. And we don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. So let's draw in those details for LeBron James. Alrighty, there he is, the one and only LeBron James. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn LeBron James before, you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring him during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing King James. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And now that you understand his proportions, you can try drawing him in other poses as well. And by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series where I spend more time explaining the details and thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your drawing of LeBron. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag LevelUpCartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.